do you call a camel pattern? Camel, it's a, uh, it's Numa Terra. Numa Terra. So as a nature photographer and a commercial photographer, I have two different approaches. As a nature photographer, I'm looking completely for concealment. I, uh, two weeks ago, was laying next to a fox den and had a female fox uh, walk within six feet of me and uh, laying flat on the ground and, and uh, she didn't blow out and that's, that's the kind of camouflage I'm looking for and, and the way I want to conceal myself. Um, what I love about this uh, Numaterra color palette, uh, the yellows, greens, browns, um, we were high up in the Badlands of Montana uh, along the Missouri River breaks. We were up in the Alpine on the, the Rocky Mountain front. Um, everywhere, I had no trouble like trying to figure out where to put somebody to blend them. Just sit in the grass there and they disappeared. And uh, that, that was really important to me. Can you quickly summarize what the different garment lines or layers are? Well, we, we actually have classified each of these systems or classes of garments and we use Native American terminology. So the, the katanka, for example, the buffalo, that's our insulated layer. And then we have the siva, which is the mountain sheep or mountain goat. Um, that is our base layer systems. And so we have five different systems. So we've looked at a lot of different features on the clothing. Maybe you could go into a little bit more detail on the antimicrobial and how it works and why hunters would really want to pay attention to what you have. Great, that's a very good question. Because not all antimicrobials are created equal either. We use a silver base, and ours, our NUMA antimicrobial is called Silver Strike, silver, silver based antimicrobial. So, silver thread, silver ceramic, silver ion, whatever silver base you use, they all work very well because it's based upon silver. There are other chemical treatments. This, that's a metallic treatment, so it's not right. chemical. There are other chemical treatments like Aegeus and Aegeon, which are topical, they're chemical, and they usually wash out after 10 or 20 washings, whatever it might be, or just over time they lose their pizzazz. Uh, silver does not do that. The reason why we put antimicrobial in every single piece, everything we make, hats, gloves, everything, is because antimicrobial serves as very critical purpose of keeping your garment fresh and keeping your garment bacteria free. So what happens when, when you're out sheep hunting and you're up there for a long time and you're sweating and perspiring, you put all that perspiration into your garment and you pull that off and you stuff it in your bag. Now it's wet and it's full of bacteria and you stuff it in there and it's full of perspiration. All that, right. the nutrients coming out of your skin. You put it in there. Now bacteria wants to grow and when you pull it out, it wants to look like, it wants to smell <laughs> terrible and it wants to look like mildew. So. You're also using merino wool, which has natural qualities to reduce odor, absorb it, uh, prevent bad odors, but you're also applying an agent to that, are you not? We are. And you talked about some that are good for 10 washes or limited time. What are you using with the merino? Merino also have a, has our silver strike. Okay. So it's silver based and so it's, it's for the life of the garment. It does not wash out. I don't know if I've heard of merino with the silver in it before, but... Uh, it's a double whammy that I think hunters will appreciate. And I'm pretty certain there isn't other merino with silver in it. And uh, I think NUMA is first to create what we call super merino in right. the fact that it has an additional wicking and an additional antimicrobial to enhance the natural wicking and antimicrobial that most people rely upon. We go the next step and add in additional.